Hi, welcome to Landward. I'm Kathy Guthrie, and I'm showing here at Erin Art Space with Mary Lou Wakefield. So we both do different work. Um, although Mary Lou and I have known each other for probably 30 years, we first met through calligraphy, and then we both ended up coincidentally going on to printmaking and then going on to painting and some collage. So I had this space booked last year and I decided uh, instead of doing another solo show I'd like to invite someone else and I just thought of Mary Lou. She was keen, so here we go. <laughs> so the work that I've done for the show this time is uh, all about my time that I spend in the forest. I, when I'm trail running and hiking and um, you know, a lot of people, when they talk about forests, it's all green. And, but I decided to focus more on, you know, like what's on the ground. Um, this one, it's called uh, Something to Look Forward to After the Rain. So you can see it looks very wet and drips and lots of different colors in there. So when you're trail running, you have to look at the ground. Otherwise, you're going to trip and hurt yourself. So that's kind of what this one is about. And it's a diptych, so there's two pieces. And I worked on them together so you can see that I can, I, you know, move the, uh, I think I used one of those shaper tools to bring the paint across. Anyway, so then I, I did a lot. There's lots and lots of layers and needed something else to kind of calm it down. It's very chaotic. So I decided on these, um, lines coming in which could represent other trails or mapping, etc. So I think that really worked to bring it all together. Um, and this one here is a collage. I, there's three different collages in the show, but they all sort of look a little bit similar. And all the papers I painted myself I just like to do that, if, especially if I have extra paint left, I just smear it onto a sheet. And other times I like to have a big sheet and experiment with, you know, spraying water or alcohol on the paint and smearing it and see what happens. Because then you get all these different textures that you wouldn't normally get when you're thinking about what you're doing. So I just had all this pile of papers and I just started to put them down. I, I put a bit of this golden color on the wood first and then started to add the collage pieces and just kept moving it around and adding things and um, finally you, you know you have to stop and say okay now what does this need so kind of stand back and add a few other pieces to bring it together and I'm sure everybody sees something different in here I mean, right away when I look at it, I see this little landscape here and that one there. I mean, this could even be like a slope. So whatever, I mean, people see what they see in it. So this comes from just seeing all the different colors when I'm out in the forest. And, um, and I love collage just to put pieces together and, you know, make something of it. So I don't want to talk about anything else. Uh, this one over here, it's called Forest Aura, and again I was thinking about the ground. So it's very textured, I've used a lot of molding paste and this lava gel which has little bits of black. And so using different spatulas and scrapers to apply it and, you know, leaving some places smooth and more transparent, others very textured. You know, leaving a bit of the board showing. And then I actually put some little twigs in here and made some little marks. So it actually, to me, looked like there's you know, twigs on the trail bed. And then I started to add colors, which I thought looked like you know, the dirt of the trail. So there's some dark and some light. So I'm pretty happy the way it came together. I mean, I've had a few comments about it since, so I made change it or do something different, but that's what happened when I worked on it. So I started this work way back in January, knowing I had the space booked, and sort of just 
you know, try to think, okay, what am I going to create with, um, I wanted to do uh, star quarters, see what came together. Um, this one's about the Arbutus tree, which I see a lot on the trails that I frequent. And they're always reaching, they don't grow straight up normally, they're reaching out and sometimes up and out, and then they're contorting the trunks and the branches to try and find the light. So these are some of the colors. I mean, you actually do see black and this reddish, and obviously the, the bright green and the orange. You know, it has an outer bark and then this orangey light skin, and then on the inside is green. It's quite an interesting tree. And then, you know, this is represented by it. I'm not trying to paint it exactly. And then these little slits of yellow, that's the light to represent the light. You know, the tree branches or the trunk searching for the light. So it's almost like, you know, looking through a Venetian blind. And I didn't, I've done a lot of stripe work before where I actually use masking tape and I tape it off very neatly and try to neat and tidy. But this one, I wanted these stripes to be organic looking and not perfect. So I didn't use any tape. I just painted them freehand. So, yeah, so that's about the Arbutus tree. And this little one here, uh, again, thinking about the ground, and it just kind of came together. The, they were done separately. I did this one first. So it's acrylic inks. I painted over something else, which you can't even see, but acrylic inks, and just kind of let them do their thing, and then took a, some sort of a tool and moved the paint around, and, and then I just left it, let it sit. And then I did this on paper, and again, just you know, applying a lot of different paints and spraying it to get the drips and drawing lines and spatters and just mixing the colors, thinking again about the colors in the forest. Maybe this is a bit of a arbutus and maybe some sunshine. And then, you know, it was a long time after that I was trying to decide how these were going to go together. And I, I thought, oh, these look kind of nice together. I just made that a, a diptych. So that's um, the way that came together. So maybe I'll let Mary Lou talk about her works. Thank you very much, Jacqueline, for coming by. It's nice to see you again. Hi, I'm Mary Lou Wakefield. I'm an abstract expressionist painter. And uh, the show Land Word is, um, it's, it's about an expression of my connection to the land and the sea. It's been a big influence in my life and my work uh, for many years. So in this particular show, I'm marrying a few elements together. Um, so the abstraction from the land uh, is uh, part of the, the element. The other element is about um, you can see in this piece, for example, is about this calligraphic gestural marks that are incorporated into the piece. So for this particular piece, what I'm trying to get across is that the land holds stories uh, over many millennium. And so to suggest, how, how to suggest that in an abstract painting? Well, in this piece, I have layered um, thin paper that has been written on uh, into the work to suggest um, sort of a narrative that the land holds. So these pieces that, that you'll see on this wall, the ones with the, the very bright orange color, this one for example, this is an, another one with the same bright color, and then this last one over here on the right. All of these colors really came from uh, my experience this summer. I was away for a month doing an art residency and it was during the heat dome and when we were all talking about the weather and every day and every night I was just surrounded by these hot pink and orange colors. Now it's, it's unintentional that they end up in the work but it's interesting when you look back to see how much of that the weather was influenced in the work. 
So I, I'll just show you I mean, a couple of other places. So this one, um, it, it's very obvious where the calligraphic gestural marks um, are in this one. It's very clear. It says, this one's called, What's All the Excitement About? I'm really trying to convey something that's intangible. So in this piece, it's almost like there's a conversation going on. Somebody's having a conversation and somebody says, what's all this excitement about? And maybe it's just a beautiful sunset. I don't remember what the exact conversation is, but I'm trying to get across the idea of excitement and heat and fire and warmth. Um, so another example of that, would, this is kind of very different. This one is a little bit more subdued on its color palette. But this one is also called, that uh, suggests a conversation, I think. It, the title is, That Time We Listen to Our Voices Float Out to Sea. So this is just from a memory. The work is about um, sitting at a beach, having a conversation, and it's so quiet that I was remembering how voices carry across the water. And when it's a really quiet day, you just know that those voices are going to float out a long way. So that's what I'm trying to convey in this piece. So that the calligraphic gestural marks here and here is the suggestion of that conversation. And then the color palette and, and um, the style of it, the sort of subdued style, is really to reflect a, a warm beach somewhere. Uh, in this one, it's a, a similar palette to that one. Um, this one is called Thoughts Landed Like Treasures on the Ebb Tide. This also comes from an experience about being on a beach and walking on a beach where the tides just come out and looking down and seeing everything that that particular tide cycle left. And it reminded me about sometimes thoughts just land in your mind and they stick. And then I looked down at the beach and I saw these things that were left on the tide and thought, oh, there's a little combination. And so again, it's trying to express something intangible in the work. And then we'll come over here on this side of the gallery. And so again, the influence of the gestural marks here. So some of this work is done on paper to begin with. And often I'll start with mulberry paper because I love the texture of it. So the work's done on mulberry paper. And then the mulberry paper is adhered to the birch panel. And you just get a lovely texture that way. So this one is called, looks like it's going to be a scorcher, which is another reference to the heat and the heat dome and, and the weather. And this, of course, is, again, like a conversation somebody's having. Uh, this one is directly onto the wood panel. There's no paper on this one. And this one is uh, a little bit more, this is probably as close as I have ever come to doing something representational without it being representational. It's still an ab very much an abstraction, but I spent quite a bit of time this summer uh, on an island, and this is a reference to that. In this one, I, do, I come back to the idea that I mentioned over there is that the land holds stories, because the land has been there for so many years, and this calligraphy here is a suggestion about there's stories held in the land, and then again down in the rocks. It's um, repeated down here. And then this one, the last one, uh, yeah, this one is different than uh, some of the other ones in the show. This is one that I started a couple of years ago. It's uh, one of the bigger ones. I, I still wanted to get across the idea about a conversation or a story in the work. And so I, I worked it into the, the upper area and tried to suggest that there was something going on as far as a, a conversation or a story. So the title of this one is called Gathering Courage, Like Dark Clouds on the Horizon. And it, it is a reference, a specific reference in this case, to times when um, my husband would sail away to go on long sailing voyages. And I would sit up on a rock and watch him sail away until I couldn't see him anymore. And it, it actually doesn't look like that in real life, but it's my interpretation of it. And the gathering courage is that he would be away for a really long time alone at sea. And my, uh, my work was to try and you know, make myself strong for those times. So that's, that's what the reference is to this one. 
but uh, notably, as everybody's pointed out to me, is they, they like a little bit of this bright on the horizon, which is a, a hopeful sign. So that's a few pieces uh, in the show. Uh, this work, um, I think there are 16 pieces for me in this show, and this represents uh, the last year uh, for me working. I work in a very tiny little studio in my garden, and uh, this has been a real joy to put together. So when Kathy invited me to join her for this show, I was absolutely thrilled. So that's the show. That's land work. That's my my part of it. And it's been it's been really great to show the work and talk about the work. We've had lots of people come out and leave great comments in the book. So thank you very much. <laughs>